This is some thoughts on the Surface Studio 2 Plus because I hadn't seen too many people um, reviewing this new unit. So I've always loved the Surface Laptop Studio with the Slim Pen 2 because it gives you that nice haptic feedback that really makes it feel like writing on um, paper. So the first kind of disappointing feature of the Surface Studio 2 Plus is it ships with the older pen, um, not with the Slim Pen 2 with haptic feedback. And in fact, what you can see is, so the original pen works pretty well on the Surface Studio 2 Plus. Um, ignore the kind of weird aliasing in the background, but you can see the, the you know, ink location relative to the tip makes sense. If you take the Slim Pen 2 and put it on, what you find out is that there's kind of this offset. So you can see here this offset from the physical tip location to the ink um, on the screen. So it makes it a little harder to use. And of course you don't get the haptic feedback feature even if you try to pair it and stuff like that. Um, the other thing I'll note too, so when you tilt the screen, obviously you're gonna be using the screen at wide angle. So it's important that this sort of, you know, screen at different viewing angles looks reasonable. And with a photo, it looks pretty good. Um, the other thing I noticed too, is that if you just go to a white screen and I tilt it down, um, you'll find that there's this kind of weird pattern. So ignore the color shift, that's just the camera, but there's sort of these three vertical bars. It, it looks a bit like aliasing, but it's actually physically there. Um, and you can see it a bit here as well. You can see that kind of moving circle-ish thing. Um, so that is only at extreme angles, at kind of half angle. So you can see how stiff the hinge is. It's actually pretty good. So here I have it at sort of a worst case halfway. And if, if you draw on the lower left of the screen here, there's a little bit of jiggle, but it's not too bad. Um, erasing is probably where you notice it more. And here you can notice a weird delay in the erase. I'm not sure what that is, but um, that works quite well. Uh, the keyboard it ships with is not the best keyboard. Um, it's fine little sort of small one. The, the reason it's so small, I think, is actually it turns out that using this thing, your workspace setup becomes pretty critical. So um, if you want to clear, have enough space for it to tilt down and up, you have to be a little careful with your setup. Uh, if you had an under desk tray, probably would actually work really well. I don't know if many people use that anymore. With the normal keyboard I was using, for example, you find it sort of gets in the way. Um, so this is one of the larger uh, Microsoft keyboards. So it kind of gets in the way. If you arrange stuff a little though, even here I found, for example, I can um, keep it so that it's bent at about 45 and, and rest on the, the wrist rest. And that actually works pretty well. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're looking at this thing is the workspace setup becomes quite critical compared to a normal computer. Uh, the other thing is just kind of getting into more specifics. This is the, the surface dial, which kind of glorified uh, knob I'd been using um, and you can see it slides down a bit. This is a perfectly clean, if you saw at the beginning, it was even a bit wet. I would cleaned any dust off and you can see it sliding down. This is at like a half tilt angle. Um, the problem is if you put it on the desk even once and get a bit of dust on it, it'll start to slide down pretty quickly. So I'm not sure if the surface dial itself, you know, not necessarily part of um, the entire surface thing, but um, just a little aside that, you know, it's kind of surprising uh, that it doesn't seem fully usable. So here it is even at the lowest tilt angle and you can see it, it will slide down. Um, you know, even this is where you'd expect it to work. So if you put it on the desk, it'll get dusty and will slide really badly, but you can't leave it on the screen because it's also going to slide off. Uh, the other thing too with the surface I mentioned is, you know, it's not really a gaming thing. It gets pretty warm and spins up fans pretty fast um, when you when you try to do stuff with it. I mean, there's a lot crammed into that little box. Um, despite all that, it is a pretty nice way of kind of having this hybrid workflow where you can write on stuff and not have to, um, you know, think about switching back between a lap, Surface laptop off to the side. Um, so if you, you know, if you really want to use that hybrid workflow, you could give it a shot. It's an expensive experiment, um, but, and I haven't fully decided if I'll keep it or send it back with this kind of little annoyances, but if you do give it a shot, let me know how it goes.